Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about reading the data from XML file. So the step for reading the data from the XML file is similar to that of reading the data from the CSV file. Only the difference is that we need to provide different set of value inside the data source attribute. So this will be the provider for reading the data from the XML file. Connection string will be the location to the XML file. Table name in this case will be the name of tag which contain the data. An access method can be either sequential or random. So this is the provider name I need to specify in our script. Now I have already created XML file which contain our test data. So this should be the format of test data inside the XML file. Rows. Inside this we have row tag which contain our data. So here I have three row tag which represent the three different set of test data. Okay. Now here in the case of CSV we were using the header in, identi in order to identify which column to read. Similarly, in case of XML file, we need to use the tag to identify for which field we are reading the data. So inside our test script, when we were reading the CSV file, we just need to specify the header and it will read the corresponding data. So when I using this particular statement, that represent it is going to read the data from the CVRT tag inside the XML. In other words, whatever the header I'm using inside the data row that should be the tag name inside the XML which should have the data okay so here in order to read the CVRT I have a header as CVRT so for this I have a corresponding CVRT tag inside the XML similarly for hardware I have a corresponding hardware tag inside the XML and for OS there is a corresponding OS tag inside the XML so similarly for summary and description so in this manner you need to specify your test data so now the second thing is the location to the XML which is our connection string so this will be the connection string for us and in case of table name, we need to specify the tag name which contain our data. So in the current situation, row is the name of tag which contain our test data because this is the test data. So here I need to specify the row. And now I'm going to build our solution and run this script. So this time it is going to read the data from the XML file. So this is done. I'm going to run this script. So this is for first set of data. Now this is for second set of data.
and this is for the third set of data. So now the script is done. So as you can see here in the output, we have three run for three different set of data. Now here the important thing is about the table name. So let us suppose I modify this tag to some other tag. And let me add the closing tag. Okay, now I'm going to read on our script. So as you can see here, our script got failed. And the reason is because we have specified the table name as row. So now our test data is present inside this tag. Okay, so the table name will be this. That is create bug data. And if I run this script, it will run in the normal flow. So as you can see here, it started the Chrome. So I'm going to just stop this script. Now, as you can see here, after reading the data from the XML file, we are converting it to string with the use of to string method. Now, let us suppose you want to convert this particular value to some other data type. For that, there is a class called convert. This particular class provide a method by which you can convert the given string or given value into any other data type. So for example, if I want to convert it to string, I can directly use the to string method. If I want to convert it to the boolean, I can take the help of to boolean method. So this particular class have lot of method by which you can perform the conversion into corresponding data type. Okay. And also, if you want to supply the multiple data here, for example, I have one more tag. Let's say test test tag. So here I will specify the data using the comma separated. So one comma two comma three and during the runtime after reading this tag I can split based on the comma so I can have the multiple value over here so you can use this approach also so in this manner you can read the data from the XML file the only important thing is that this particular tag which contain our test data and it should be specified in the table name so that's all for this video and thanks for watching.